enriching lawyers because you're unwilling to negotiate with the governor is plain ridiculous. It is a waste of taxpayers' dollars. Time and time again, I've read in the media and heard individuals get up here and speak about the governor's unwillingness to negotiate with you. David Masseron, the budget director, is literally begging to negotiate with you over these valuable federal resources that were meant to go to businesses and individuals in our state to deal with the ongoing, let me say that again, the ongoing pandemic, whether you acknowledge it or not, is still, that is still raging across the state, across this country, and across the globe. I've been in quadrant meetings basically every other week since the beginning of this term. Those have continued during this pandemic. Week after week, there's oppor ample opportunity to offer a plan, and, and week after week, none has ever been given. Multiple meetings a week about data and other meetings where there's given ample opportunity to express your opinions and hear information. But instead, it's the same old talking points. Metrics, metrics, metrics. The governor won't meet with us over and over and over again, time and time again. But in reality, the only plan you've offered is what we're voting on today. Sue, sue, sue. Obstruct, obstruct, obstruct. And then talk about things that have nothing to do with the vast majority of Michiganders care about. Transgendered students playing sports. Dr. Seuss. It's probably the first time many have ever read Dr. Seuss. Thank, I guess that's good for the publisher. But it has nothing to do with the problems that Michiganders are dealing with. You may think what they're doing in Texas is the answer. The vast majority of people in Michigan don't. I'm asking you, my colleagues, to vote this down and spend some actual time negotiating with the governor, with her department heads, with us, as we've done in this chamber a number of times, to come up with solutions to Michigan's problems in this term and before we've done it. I hope that we can get back to a place where we can do our job and come together and compromise. If you offer no plan and just complain, and the few things you do offer, they don't take 100% of it, that doesn't mean they're not listening. It means they don't agree. You sit down and, and, and work out a compromise. That's how adults do it. I'd ask that we act like adults. I'd act like we compromise on something that's extremely important. We've seen it happen time and time again when we want to do it. I think now is the time for us to do it again. I ask that my remarks be put on the record and again urge a no vote. Thank you.